Hey everybody, it's Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we have a very special review and unboxing, and that is of the Mondo Wolverine 1 6 scale animated type figure. Uh, this figure is cell shaded, so it looks like it came right out of the, the old animated show. Uh, this figure has been released before, but it was a Comic Con exclusive where you had Wolverine in a window box laying on his bed looking all sad and somber at a picture of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. In fact, that figure had an extra head that was kind of sad and lonely looking uh, that you could pop on just for that. Uh, and they also released one that was in his brown and orange uniform. Uh, what we have here, though, is the regular edition. It comes in this beautiful uh, box that is a three-panel like window box. And on the front, what we have here is the X-Men animated series, the Marvel little logo like they have on the comic books. It says uh, MDO 01 2001. It says Wolverine at the bottom. And then you have a whole bunch of pictures uh, to mark out like the storyboard. If we go ahead and give this a turn. On the top, uh, we have the Marvel logo, then the Mondo logo, X-Men animated series, and then you have the picture of Wolverine down below, and that is of the actual figure. On the back, we have some more panels or storyboard panels, uh, and it goes on through the story until very at the bottom you have the end. Love this packaging. It just it screams uh, like old comic book artwork. Um, then we come again, we have the Marvel logo, X-Men animated series, Mondo, Wolverine, one six scale figure, and then we're back to the front of the package. What's cool though, is this is a, uh, panel box and it is on magnets. And as soon as you open that, you're treated to this open panel, which has a complete write up about Wolverine. Just love that. And the whole write up is Excellent. And what I will do is I always add HD photos at the end of my review. So I will have this whole panel here uh, available where you could read it if you want to. And you've got more uh, of the storyboard here. And that panel down below here of him laying in the bed looking at the picture frame is how the Comic-Con version came. Of course, then you can see the figure in all his glory uh, in this panel. This is actually a beautiful display just as it is. So let's go ahead and crack this open and take a look at everything that we get. Out of the box, you have Wolverine in his plastic tray. You can see all the accessories. Uh, he comes with multiple heads. Uh, he's got the angry head on. He's got the stoic head, his uh, unmasked portrait. You've got Morph, who is an X-Man that could change into anybody. And then you have the picture of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. And the cool thing about that little accessory is you can actually take the photograph out and replace it with any photograph you want. Of course, you got the turkey leg. You've got the different hands. Uh, and then you have the figure itself. And the, uh, the lightning effect that you have that's from the intro of the old cartoon. So let's go ahead and get him out and we'll take a look at some of these accessories individually. And then we'll have the figure up on the turntable. What's cool is if you look at the artwork in the back of the box, it is actually the intro to the animated series all done in story panels, but done in that photo negative type drawing. That is pretty cool. Okay, I got Wolverine laying down so we can go through all of his things. First thing we're gonna come to is his stand, which was stuck to the back of the box. And it is a different style than what Mondo used to do. If you ever looked at any of my Masters of the Universe Mondo reviews, they had these stands that had like an M on the bottom and they were a, a different uh, form factor. And the, the stand would plug in and it didn't have much grip, like the arms were always falling off of the base. This actually plugs in really nicely and it has a different top too to it. It's almost, instead of a crotch grabber, the figure's legs will go between that and it will push him back closer against the stand. Now we'll go ahead and go over some of the accessories that Wolverine comes with. Uh, first off, we've got the turkey leg. 
Now, I don't think I will have this posed with my figure, but it is cool that they include that. With Wolverine does come with nine hands. If you count the two that come with the effects parsed, we have a, a gesturing, almost like a pointing finger hand. Very nicely done. Has that cell shading on it where you can see that darker blue leading into the lighter blue. And then you can even see like the drawn lines into it. We have two relaxed hands. Again, you can see that cell shading. Uh, one looks darker blue than the other. And then you flip them over and it's opposite. Again, you have those panel lines drawn in. Very nicely detailed though. And each hand comes with its own wrist peg. I do appreciate that. Then we have a gripping hand for the right side. Again, you can see that cell shading in there, the panel lines between the fingers, palms a darker blue, the top of the hands a lighter blue. Another gesturing hand, this time for the left side. Again, you have that panel lines in there and the cell shading between the darker blue and the lighter blue. Then with the effects part, you get that kind of like lightning or spark that you're getting, and it is done on two fisted hands. And that makes where the, cl the claws are actually embedded into the light effect. That is pretty cool. We have our picture frame with Scott Summers and Jean Grey, and again, you can actually pop that picture out. It does have the little back to it, so you could have this set on his stand, or he could be holding it. You have the morph head sculpt. Looks really good. I mean, the paintwork is done really nice. You got the little swoop of hair coming down. It's a very nice head sculpt. It's just not something I would use. We have our Unmasked Wolverine, our Logan head sculpt, and I love this. This looks awesome. Again, you can see where that cell shading has come into it. They did a beautiful job. And then the hair, you can see it goes from like a darkish black to blues, like a navy blue to a lighter blue for the highlights. Yeah, this looks fantastic. Then we have a more neutral expression Wolverine looks good it's very well painted i have a little blemish at the bottom of his chin i could fix up with some black paint but that is not the head sculpt i'll probably keep on him or put on him anyway i really like that angry masked head sculpt looks good though and he looks absolutely great they did an awesome job with the outfit the coloring on it is amazing. It looks like he stepped right out of the old animated show. His boots look amazing. Love this angry head sculpt. You can even see his teeth almost like they have fangs. Yeah, they did a super job. And the, the panel lines with the, the cell shading, it just it screams that it's animated or drawn. Claws look great. Joints are really nice and stiff. You don't have to worry about loose joints. Uh, for posability, the head is on a ball. You have a ball joint in the torso. The waist is on a swivel. Um, you got a you got a swivel and ex, like an extendable joint at the top of the shoulder. Uh, you have a pivot 
above the elbow and then the elbow will go 90 degrees. The hands are on a, uh, like a normal pin joint. The waist uh, is a swivel, like I said. The hips are a ball joint, go in and out. You do have a double bend at the knee and the feet are up and down and there is a rocker. So there's a lot of uh, posability options for Wolverine. Give me a second, I'm gonna put him on a stand. Okay, I got Wolverine on his stand and we got him on the rotating base and he is phenomenal. Uh, the more I keep messing with him, the more I like him. That cell shading kind of uh, paint job that they did with him with the panel lines is absolutely gorgeous. He looks like he stepped right off of a old Cockrum uh, John Byrne comic book or he looks like he came directly from the animated series which he's based on. Uh, it is absolutely stunning. Um, it's literally a poseable piece of art. Now, I've had some cell shaded figures in the past, and sometimes they're kind of hit or miss. I uh, had a Wei Zhang uh, Optimus Prime that was done that way that turned out gorgeous, um, but nothing compared to this. This, there's so much shading in him and so many panel lines the way he's done. It is, it is stunning. Uh, Mondo did a fantastic job. Um, now, if you're looking for him, you can still get him at Mondo at retail. If you're looking for the Comic-Con version, which the only difference is the box that it comes in where it's the bed and he has that sad downtrodden head that he includes with it. Uh, everything else is the same. Uh, in fact, that one gesturing hand that I talked about is specifically meant to hold the photograph of Jean Grey and Scott Summers. So if you wanted Wolverine to be holding the photograph, you could. Uh, I personally am probably going to have mine in a pose similar to what I have right now going on. Um, also, these little claws, they're all pinned in. So you can unplug them and put them into any hand. Uh, which is amazing. Uh, it gives you so many different posing opportunities because you don't have to have him with the claws out. He could have his claws retracted or you could have the claws in any number one of the other hands that he comes with. Again, I keep talking about how much I like the style of this figure and the paintwork that's on him. I really hope that Mondo continues with the series and keeps making uh, characters from the animated X-Men show. I would love to see a Cyclops. I would love to see a Rogue. I would love to see a Storm, a Jean Grey, and even a Professor X in the chair. That would be freaking phenomenal. Anyway, if you hang back, I will have some HD photos of this guy up close and personal and of all the accessories. Also, if you're new to our channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell icon so every time I post a video, you guys will be the first to know. It really does help our channel and it means the world to us. Again, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.